Okay, I'm going to put, have her holding a couple of tulips <clears throat> and something a little different. I cut her hands out a little bit. That way you don't have as much to cut out around for the tulips. So what you want to do is uh, you want to put the drawing on there like I have right there. I have one tulip going underneath one and one on top of the other. This one will have a couple of leaves on it. This one won't have any. It's like she just picked them like she wasn't supposed to. Uh, I wanted something in her hands. I think uh, that always looks nice on a carving. But um, here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to spray this. Just to soften it up a bit. Meanwhile, I'm going to take... Uh, it's important when you carve to use a strop. This is my strop here. And to do a few, um, a few strokes back and forth on it to resharpen your blade because you want to make sure that your blade's nice and sharp before you start cutting it once you have it drawn on there. Alright, so what we're going to do, I'm going to try to keep this in focus. We're going to take, we're going to do a lot of stop cuts, okay? This is the bottom part of the stem. We're going to take that out first, just like so. When you do small work like this and you spray it with that stuff, it just makes it so much easier. Really. It's not as, it's not, the only thing that I find kind of hard is to know where you put the cut because the wood is swelling when you, when you cut it like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow this out and around first. Okay. And we're going to bring this down to the hand. We'll worry about finishing this all off a little bit later and take it out very carefully. Okay. And then this right here is where the stem is from the other one. So we're going to come down a little ways and then we're going to go across a little bit because we're going to put a little bit of a stem there and come up this way. Or, you know, a little bit of a leaf there. So we'll worry about all that. Now this is really going to be tough to get in here, folks. You really need a sharp knife for it. And once we have this all cut out, I'm going to go offline. I'm going to make it deeper. And then up here, um, let me think what we did here. Okay, right here we're going to follow this up and around. Like so. And the little stem coming down. Because we've got a plenty of room on, in front of her to do this. So if you want to do this right away when you do your do your arms, you can. I just n decided to do it last minute. You'll notice I'll change things sometimes when I think it's a better way of doing things. All right. The next thing we're going to do is go up here. We're going to cut down and we're going to cut around. Just like so. All right. And we're going to follow that with the tip of the knife. If you wet it, you don't have to put, and we're going to come up this way for that, for that leaf off that stem. Okay, this should come right out. If it doesn't free up, you go back and recut it. All right. It's still not coming out, but we'll do that again. Oh, it did. Okay, there we go. And right here, we're going to cut a little piece out. All right. And so we have the bottom portion of it already cut out. Well, now we've got to do the top portion where the big, uh, big part of the tulip is. So we're going to go up here, and we're going to kind of we're going to go across for right now. We'll put all the details in a little bit later. Yeah, I'll put the little wiggly lines in later on. You can do that at a later time. Alright. Just like so. Alright. So I'm going to go back over all this and then you've got to do her stem right below her hand here. So 
this will make a little more detail in the um, in the carving itself. But there you go. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get offline and I'm going to make all those things a little deeper. Now this is really going to be tough. You need a small little knife, or if you want, you can. Why don't we eliminate that? That's going to be a little too tough. We're going to eliminate that portion of it right there. All right. Just like so. So right there, right there is where they meet. All right. You don't have to put the leaf stems on it if you don't want to. I'm going to put this one a little bit down, a little bit further. In fact, when I do that, that will kind of free us up a little bit and add just a little added dimension to it. How's that? All right, we'll put that little leaf stem on there. And then maybe we'll put another one over here as well. Somewhere, a small one. You know, you got to be careful. If you put too many, too many things in here, it makes it more complicated to do the carving. This is like a relief carving. So don't, don't be afraid to try it or to do it. Uh, it does add something extra special to your carving when you do. Okay, I'll be right back.